Hi friends. Pretty hard to sit down and make a video about what's on my mind and not talk about what's been on my mind the last week about what's going on in the United States of America. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I don't want to make any political statements. I'm not going to express any opinions about that. Certainly I have opinions, but that's not what my YouTube channel is for. My YouTube channel is to just try to give you some perspectives on a number of things. One of them is retiring in Mexico. Another one is living full time in an RV. And today, um, I thought I was going to sit down and talk about something that uh, stuck in my mind. I actually heard it from a guy named Steve Smith. Steve Smith was Red Green in the Red Green Show, and I watched a YouTube interview of him, with him. And just offhand, he made a statement, and it kind of struck me, and I wrote it down. It was that when you retire, and I know a number of you watch my channel because you're interested in retiring in Mexico, or retiring to an RV. And I, guess the, I guess the theme that runs through whatever I do is about being happy in your retirement. Anyway, what he said was that you should never retire from something, you should always retire to something. And I think that's great wisdom. I wanted to talk about change today. The world is changing, and that's not new. The world has always been changing, and the world will always be changing. How we react to that, um, is different for different people. There are people who fear change, and that can be as simple as absolutely needing a reservation somewhere before you go somewhere, so that you know where you're going to sleep that night. And there are other people who find that totally boring, and um, I don't think one is bad and one is good, it's just different. But people do fear change some of them, and others embrace change. Um, there's been a lot of talk about um, justice and civil rights and hope and despair and doubt um, in the news lately. And I just wanted to give you my two cents about um, the big picture in all of that, as I like to think of it. And I wanted to tell you that all of those people talking about changing the world, um, they live in the hope that they can do that, and it is possible, um, even for those people who are very young, teenagers or early 20s, we all had idealism. We had ideas that we could change the world, and we had ideas that um, the world should be different than it was. And it is, but it may not be because we changed it, and it may not have changed into things that we envisioned as being what we wanted. But it is possible for people to change the world. Joan of Arc uh, changed the course of history and saved the country of France in the Hundred Years' War. And the English burned her at the stake at the age of 19. Um, Mark Zuckerberg started Facebook at the age of 19. That changed the world. Jeff Bezos uh, started Amazon. Um, I think he was like 30 years old. Changed the world. Uh, Bill Gates, Microsoft, um, started thinking about it in his... 20s, and I think actually formed Microsoft when he was 32 years old. Changed the world. So it is possible for one person to change the world. That's my point. 
And in order to talk to you today about a young man in his early 20s who wanted to change the world and set out to do so thinking that he had a better idea about how the world ought to work with regard to peace and justice and equality. We all have that kind of idealism when we're young, believing that anything is possible. And then in your late 20s, a lot of us, we start to lose our idealism. And this young man did as well. And he decided that maybe he couldn't change the world, but if he worked real hard at it, he could change his country. And in his 30s, um, his idealism kind of tempered down to just hope that he could change his state. In his 40s, he began to despair that he wasn't going to be able to do that. And he said, well, maybe I can just change my town. And in his 50s, he began to doubt himself and thought, well, at least I can change my family and make it a better, happier place. In his 60s, he, des- he, he started to develop some wisdom. And wisdom is a hard thing to come by. There's a great difference between intelligence and wisdom. And the older I get, the more I realize, A, I don't have as much intelligence as I thought. <laughs> and I think that's what wisdom is. Maybe wisdom is knowing the difference between being smart and being wise. Anyway, the young man, now in his 60s, started to develop wisdom, but it was another 20 years in his 80s before he realized in his wisdom that what he could really change was himself. And then maybe he could have had a chance to change his family and his town and his state and his country and maybe even the world. So if you're hoping for change, don't despair. Do not doubt. You can change the world. And now you know where to start. If you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind.